Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crane and welcome to another demo. This time like a river scene. So I'm going to start off with a big hake and a little bit of water and then just whack a bit of whack a bit of colour on. Ultramarine, I mean raw sienna, lemon yellow. That's where I'm going to try and preserve that bit of light. Ultramarine. Let's clean that brush. I'm going to work on the trees now, I think. So there's like. So I'm switching to the little brush now. Switch to the little one now. I'm going to add a few darks in. This is going to be the river bank. Just put down a little bit of reflection as well while I'm going along. So that's the sort of basic gist of it. Now I'm going to go back to the big brush. You know, quick dry. Pull it flat, stretch a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it flat against this piece of plywood that i got leaning against my easel. And then what I'm going to do is re-wet it. Take a big brush, I'm just going to re-wet it like that. And then I'm going to... I'm 
pretty much just playing with lights and darks and getting working on contrasts and things. Now let's switch to this little flat brush. Clean the brush. As soon as I want to get back some lights, just clean the brush. section in there. Well, I'm going to take this little brush. I'm just going to pull down some of this. Let's just see what it looks like. Back to the small hike. It's flat again against the board. And what I'm doing pretty much is I'm sort of experimenting really, just seeing what sort of effects I can get. Every time I dry, it doesn't have to be bone dry, but it just gives. Let's just let sort of fix what you've already done. So I've dried the brush, spewed all the airs up like that, and I'm just giving into these paints now. do is just take the sword liner, small sword liner that I've got, and just pop in a few branches, it's just a few trees and twigs and things. Hold down a few reflections at the same time. Do you feel an angle as well? Don't do them all nice and parallel, nice and neat. Do a few big ones as well. Now I'm thinking is this side, the, the left hand side needs to come down a bit. This is a bit lower down, but we're sort of down this end a little bit. 
Darks in first. And bring a few lights in with it, with the lighter colours. To this sword liner brush, just get a bit of dark colour on it. And again, I'm gonna give that a quick dry. I'm gonna do a couple of rocks or something. Um, as you like. Something like that. Get a red. Let's get a bit of. Don't want to get too bad with that one. If you like little bright things, it's, it's sometimes I just I just want to just get a bit out from the straight out the tube. Like that. Just dry that brush and then just See what's just a bit of land there just to break that up a little bit.
And the dark's in there. A little boat, just to act as a little focal point. So I'm thinking, um, just there. Just gives it that little focal point in the distance. I think I'm going to call that one finished now. I'm just going to take a little bit of red. I'm just going to sign this one down there. This will be in my eBay shop, anyone who fancies. Fancies a uh, purchasing it. Um, so let's stick a mount on it now and see what it looks like. So here's the finished paint. So we're going to have a closer look. So we've got our yacht there in the distance giving some sort of scale and, 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 and look a focal point to the thing and then sort of bounce either side by got these foreground with a little bit of colour there straight from the tube mixed mixed in with all the darks a little bit of a, a not rigger a sword liner work suggests all the trunks the branches and whatnot and you've got the same on the right hand side putting plenty of darks there to contrast against the lights and the brighter colors Come right through into the, this right hand side see where i pull the reflections as well in the side let's do them at the same time as well i put them in, in putting them in I know some some people like to do like the top half first and then do the second and do the bottom half the reflections afterwards but I always do it at the same time which find it a lot easier when you've got the colour already on the brush. A few reeds and grasses in the foreground. You can just see where I just pulled down the reflection as well with a little height brush to try and give it that watery look. So thanks for watching, um, especially many thanks to all the, the members over at patreon.com slash Crown. Please do join me over there if you get the chance. You're very much appreciated and welcome to our little group community. Um, 270 videos over there exclusive to members, so plenty to watch. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask and I'll see you again soon.